I've been an artist for, I mean, really my whole life, because who isn't? You know, we all pick up crayons when we're younger. There's, a, I think, a quote by Picasso, something like, uh, I spent my whole life trying to figure out how to paint and draw like uh, when I was six years old and didn't know how to paint and draw. I did tons of research on what makes good art. When I first started trying to sell art, I thought, oh, there's got to be some magic formula out there for like making a $5,000 piece. You know, that was, that was my goal. I wanted to learn how to make a $5,000 piece. So I went to every gallery and every coffee shop and every art walk and every talked to every artist within a thousand miles. I read every book on it. And it turns out there wasn't a formula. So uh, Asperger's, uh, the autism spectrum, is an ever-widening chasm that will probably consume us all one day. And I found out last year that I fall onto it. I fall into it, or I'm a part of it. What I can do with art is I can sort of interpret what I see of the world uh, in what I put out in art. I can create things that make sense to me and that are beautiful to me. And even if they can't exist in nature or in some kind of order, uh, they're a way that I can sort of express uh, the randomness that I feel. Uh, you know, I, I tend to think that being autistic isn't to a higher or level, uh, a higher or lower than being human. It's always kind of sideways. Um, so it's my art, I guess, is sort of sideways of humans sometimes. The most rewarding thing about being an artist is when someone you don't know comes up to you and says, you know what, I'll, I, I want to take your art and I want to put it into my house or in my apartment. I want to put it into my life. I don't know you, but something that you made, I want to take with me on my, my journey.